How hard can it really be to spot an illusion? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I think one of the coolest talents out there is mouth trumpet, hmm. followed closely by drawing images that are so lifelike, they make you question your reality. That's what we're exploring today. Yeah, sometimes art can be so hyper real, it can make you wonder, are you just a drawing? Or a human, or a drawing? So you might wanna write your name and address on a little sheet of paper to remember that you're real. Oh, I've already done that. Oh. It's time for Losing Our Grip on Reality Has Never Been So Fun. I think I've gone mad! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think How you've are we gone gonna do mad this? as well. So all of the incredible art we'll be looking at today is by the uber-talented artist Howard Lee. Here's an example of the kind of hyper-realistic things you'll be playing with. Howard In this clip, Lee. one donut is real, but the other is an illusion. Good Lord, oh, Howard. Okay, get what? Oh, uh, and then it was the one on the right is real. And it, one of, hold on, the one on the flat, left is just a, a drawing? It was just a flat. It's a drawing. Look at that. I mean, it does have a little bit of, it does have an actual hole in it. You can kind of see the difference now that one is cut. Because it's elevated <laughs> and there's a shadow. Yeah. Howard, you stinker. Oh, yeah. So you're gonna see a series of videos just like that one and you'll compete to guess which item is the fake one. The video will pause right before the answer is revealed and not only will you write your answers on your whiteboards, but you'll also be placing bets based on how confident yes, you are. So yes. you'll each begin with 100 pieces of invisible mythical fool's gold. And you I may- I love it. I just caught mine. I love, I uh, don't, know. don't. Whee! <laughs> Don't do anything in post for that. Wee, wee. We, we can't start that. Is it? Well, she said it was the invisible. Wees? Or the, oh, the fake, yeah, grab no, You can do as many wees as you want. Wee! <laughs> you may wager up to 10 pieces of fool's gold okay. per round, and the winner will be hyper-realistically inserted into the poster of the hit 2006 film, The Illusionist. Oh. I like insertion. Yeah. Oh, boy. Wee! Mm. Let's see the first yes. one. What? Well, oh. What is, the, so, so the ketchup is real. What in the worlds? Uh, so we can wager up to 10? Yep. Fake monies. Whew, that's tough. It's amazing. Period, that, that, period. That, that it's you, amazing. That you just put <laughs> ketchup on both a drawing and a real hot dog. And it didn't help me and at all. And it did all. not help. No, I, w I, I went on something else. I'll explain my reasoning as soon as I hear your guess. I wagered f uh, half of my top bet and said it was number one on the left. Okay, I did the exact opposite. So when I first looked at them, I was like, one is the drawing. And then I looked at two and two had, was more contrast. More contrast. And I thought, and then I was like, oh, you know what, he compensated when he drew it and he made it more contrasty. I could be wrong. Mm. <laughs> Let's see who's right. See the contrast Come on the one on the Eat the one on the right. Yes! <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay, here's yes. how uh, Howard. So he fooled me. Fooled you. He sat there. Yeah, look at that. See the contrast. I want you to look. See the, see the contrast? He compensated. Compensational contrast is what they call that. So the, the one in, that looks more game. real. Is the one that's fake. I wouldn't attach to any pattern here because you know how that happens. Every time we try that, it doesn't work. Don't attach yourself to pattern. That's oh. a mouth trumpet. Oh. What you did earlier. <laughs> All right, let's see the next one. I, I'm like a mouth trumpet with the thing over it. I can lead a whole, I can lead an army in a battle. What, 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 Are you ready? The, what, what, what is the thing? From the they second do? seat. Here we go. I mean, they look freaking identical. Cause what he does is he puts the Dorito down and then he draws a fake Dorito next to it. So he has the advantage of knowing which one is real. Yeah, yeah. But I, I did see something in that. 
Again, not sure if it's, hmm, actually, you know what? Maybe I need to change my answer because I'm gonna go with what? <sighs> and and can, can anyone viewing play along? No, 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 not today. Don't, all right. <laughs> What did you bet? What did you say? I said five dollars. I said the second one, and it was for the opposite. So it was the opposite reason. Because no, I, the, I did it for the same reason. I thought that number two was less contrasty, and I think that when you get down to those little details, it actually becomes harder to maintain the realistic contrast. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah. Okay, so we were both wrong. No, we were both right. Are we were both right. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, the one that's the- You're guessing the fake one. We're guessing the fake one. Hold on, did you think you were guessing the right one? The real one? Because- <laughs> Yeah, I, I, was, I was guessing the real one. Okay, well, you got lucky and you got it right. But so Yeah, the you. whole time guess the fake I one. I was trying to guess the fake one. I thought the one on the right was the drawing, and it was. You thought it was the real one, but you were somehow right. Yeah. This we, is... we gave the same answer, but our hearts were in a different place, so- My heart was in the right you place. You believe me. Is it easy to believe? <laughs> that I got confused? Ask that question, but do it only in mouth trumpet. Uh, mm, no, it didn't work for me. But but you are letting I'm, me have the yeah, point. Yeah, you can have the point, yeah. But just and know that, now on, hold on, what did you do in round one? That's a long time ago, my friend. <laughs> um, because so, when the, 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 here's the thing, there's a weird choose. thing, is that in round one, when it was revealed, you were immediately upset as if you were wrong. You're, tar you're, you're, you're hard to follow, man. So I'm gonna choose the fake one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna I'll refer to this note that past oh, no, Link good, made yeah. to future Link. Let's take a look at how Howard drew the Dorito. Oh, oh yeah, we're yeah. still doing that. Yeah, so again, you're right that there are darker tones in there, but look at the detail on the left that it feels like he couldn't completely uh, match. Okay, for this next one, you're gonna find the fake one. Yeah, I'm gonna choose the fake one. Here we go. Good lord. Good lord. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I wagered 10. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I wagered 10. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and I chose full, full I, confidence. I chose the fake one. Full confidence. I said it was the second no. one. <laughs> well, okay. For ten dollars. I said it was the second one. See number two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dude, oh, look at yeah. look you at that. that. It's, it's impressive. I mean, it's very good. But do you think we've cracked the code, Link? Well, I think that the reason why I chose number two. Oh, good God! Now I can't tell because of the glitter. The contrast. Yeah. Slightly. Yeah. Slightly. Higher contrast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't fool us. But you didn't. You didn't gain any ground on me, or vice versa. Uh, and that was a hey. That was a big bet. Hey, we both did a big bet. I'm proud. I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of both of us. Yeah, but we put our monies where our mouths are. I'm also proud of the sports team because they have a newsletter. Why you would know? you want to sign up for any newsletter, you I, ask? Newsletters, a lot of people a lot of Did, people are like, what's up with a newsletter in 2023? And I'm like, yeah, newsletters are what 2023 is all about. This is a helpful newsletter because Sports is constantly um, uh, archiving our opinions on things we rank here that yep. you wanna remember later right. without having to look up the video. Exactly. They're also ranking so many other things that you need to buy at the grocery store while not buying the things that you shouldn't exactly. buy. But you you know, you may forget to keep going to the website. Uh -huh. So this is a, uh, a roll up every two weeks of things on Spork that you can get excited about going to the grocery store and buying. That's what, I kinda go from grocery store visit to grocery store visit. Yeah. That's just my life. Just, what am I gonna be excited about yeah. getting this time? Get excited about the grocery store again. Sports.com slash subscribe. Okay, you ready for the next one? Yes. Here we go. Oh my gosh, y'all, y'all. Okay, I didn't, see, I didn't, did you look at the, um, the lid of the cereal? Because I was drawn so much to just looking at the cereal that I didn't look at the lid, and I think that's where I should have looked. Ah, man, I am. There's something, I feel like, there's a part of me that thinks that the rules just reversed on this one. That's well, I've, I've just been 
updated that it was a good technique link, but you're actually looking only at the cereal because both both of the bowls are in fact real. Well, thanks for telling us that now. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I, yeah. uh, I hope you were just looking at the lid. I was only looking at the cereal. That's a, that's quite a quite a hint. Uh, a little too late in the game. I am still. I'm less confident. I only did seven, and I did full confidence. Ten dollars on number two. And being I think, yeah, I also went with two for the for the for the reason that we've established. But I have my doubts. That's why I went to contrasty. seven. So I went to seven. Let's how did see. how did he paint cereal? Yeah, number one is fake. Now that I've seen it. Oh dang it! Yeah. Dang it! See, it's I, got a sheen over it. I almost see. Hey, the fact, the thing I love about this Howard Lee is that its name. Yeah. Is that you don't stick with the same technique, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I went to seven Howard because Lee. I was like, I feel like Howard's got some tricks up his sleeve because he knew that we would pick up on this contrast thing, and he says, "You think I always do higher contrast? Mm. <laughs> you think I always do higher contrast than reality? <laughs> hold, hold my pen, friends. I just lost." Three dollars than I did. You know, I just lost three dollars ground to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not loving that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see how they how he uh, pulled that one off. See what he did there was he he drew some cereal, and um, then he cut it out. Wow. And then he then he put it. That's it's kind of he crazy. He put it on, in a bowl. He put it in a little cup. I feel like I could live in a world that was just drawings and probably never realize it until I touch things. Well, you'd probably starve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'd make it. I'd make it for a few minutes or hours, possibly, until I touched something or got hungry. A few minutes. Well, it depends on what you're doing. You know, it, what I mean? it would not take you more than a few seconds to touch. If the I'm food. In, listen, if I'm in the shower with cereal, and then I turn on the water and. Paper water comes out. <laughs> I'm gonna realize it's a drawing immediately. <laughs> it's gonna be very alarming. It's not gonna go down the paper drain. Can, the right. next thing you know, my I'm filled up with just paper. I'm covered <laughs> in paper. I'm not clean. That's a few minutes, man. Right, you're like a gerbil now. Right, but if I'm sleeping, if I'm sleeping and I drift off, I might not, if, when I grab my drawing comforter <laughs> and I pat my, <laughs> pat my drawing wife on her head, <laughs> I might be not. I might not realize it because I'm half asleep. You but pat, if, you but pat if, her on the head every night. But if things get hot and heavy, I'm gonna find out she's a drawing real quick. A little heavier of, petting because the friction. You know, paper friction's different. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna make things paper just friction. a tad bit more difficult here. Okay. The the next clip there's gonna be five things. Oh on no! The Why'd you go from two to five? And only one of them is fake still. Like, and like you're trying to choose the fake one. Choose the fake. <laughs> choose the fake. There's only one fake one though. All right, out of five. All Here right. you go. I'm tracking. First of all, none of those look real. Is that a real thing? Those are I, called grasshoppers. I, do you need more time? I would, I would love more time. And I want you to talk. I usually talk. Okay. While this is happening, I'd like for you to talk. Okay. Grasshopper, 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 grasshopper. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm down by what, 13? Yeah. Yes. How I'm confident? Not at all. Not at all. What'd you say? I only wager two dollars because I could not figure anything out, but I went with number four. Um, I wagered ten dollars. Okay, all right. Because I got, I've got to try to catch up, even though the odds are against me. I'm pretty sure it's number two. Just, I went totally off the psychology of where he would place the fake one. And you thought it would be within those three? Yeah, within the. I, I agree with that. Within but the grouping. There was something a little bit different about the the fourth one. And what kind of grasshopper is that in general? It, is that like some sort of uh, albino I think it's jumping. More, it's, it's a locust. No, it's, a locust. it's an albino jumping grasshopper. Okay, I, can, I don't know. I don't right, know what kind of grasshopper right. I'm being is. patronized right now. Um, it's a locust. You know what? You're all gonna feel stupid when, uh, when there's a discovery of the albino jumping grasshopper. <laughs> the, the jumping grasshopper? 
is a little redundant, just so you know. Yeah, but he doesn't actually jump, he walks. Right, which is, because right, it jumps and hops. The only jump he's got is in his name. Out. All right, do me let's, right, Stevie. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, they're alive! They're freaking alive! <laughs> Oh my God, that scared oh, the crap out of me. Hold on, so which one is that, three? I think that's two. No, it's one. Oh, it's one. So you were right, but you were wrong. Mm. You were right that it was in one of those three. That is a... That, hold on, so those were real? Apparently. That's wild. You know what, one of them wasn't. Um, and then, if you extend the video, mm -hmm. we had to cut it, he cuts one with a knife. You know. Yeah, no. yeah he, he does that. All right, let's keep going because I, I gotta... Well, <clears throat> yeah, let, let's keep going because this is the longer we go, the better it gets for me. Okay, let's do it. You're, uh, we're gonna we're gonna crank it up twofold, okay. more than twofold, because there's gonna be eleven things on the screen. Are we choosing time. the fake one? You're choosing the fake one. Here we go. Okay, uh, I... we're gonna need time. Okay. Okay. Hold on, but the maximum bet is 10. <laughs> okay. I'm betting $25. Well, that's illegal. And uh, I've never known you to turn down money. Well, I don't get you. And money. I'm saying one. I was between one and five, and I'm, I'm, I'm going for one. I think it was Shredder, number 11, but no, I'm not that confident. I don't think he would do that. I don't think he would do that. I don't disagree with you necessarily. So we're just, the 25, we're just going with it. <laughs> well, why don't got, we see how what the result is? We gotta, we gotta go with it, you know? Well, I don't think you should be able to go up to 25 and all of a sudden in a round. I think maybe the last round we can play around with with big wagers that violate the oh, rules. But I've written it. <laughs> so hard to erase. Okay, it's up to you, Rhett. You want to go with this? Mm, you know, keep it interesting. <laughs> I mean, how many? There were so many up there. The odds of me being right are so small. Well, not necessarily because there is a there's rhyme or reason. In I it. did play with the Ninja Turtles. In my younger days, the young Ninja Turtles were like the last toy that I played with. I remember waking up one day and realizing I was too old to play with toys, and everything around me was Ninja Turtles. You know, it's like, geez, I gotta get rid of these Ninja Turtles before my girlfriend comes over. <laughs> okay, so if you end up being right and I end up being wrong, then you will take the lead, I think, because there's well, there's a difference of twenty. Two here, not by, by, 20, by twenty-one. So you'll go up by one point. Uh, I knew I was too old for him when so I was. So going buying. into the final I was round, looking around, everybody else was like, still in middle school. Okay, whatever, sure. All right, let's see. So number one is the far left, Raphael. Or was I right, Donatello? Is that number one? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Girl! that was the best no I've ever heard. I wish I wish many paper cuts on you and your family. What? Uh, yep. I think that Rhett's gonna be the one with paper cuts living in his drawed world. That's right, right. I tell you, a paper, a paper wife. You gotta watch out. All right, let's do it. Okay. Why are you so, put, put it away, Twinkie. Uh, how many are you betting? How much do I have? 65. You have 65 and I have 108. So I have you covered by what okay. we said was 48. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. I wagered $64 on number two, baby. I wagered $23 on number five. Come on. Let's see. Come on. Number two is the second one. Number five is the last one, I assume. Yes! 
Yes! Yes! Dang it! Yes, I knew it because it was it was it was brighter and hazier, Howard. Number five was very so, contrast. So where does that bring me, Twinkie? Into the winning circle? I believe it does. It does, does in fact bring you your very own hyper realistic version of the illusionist poster. It will be revealed in more wee. <laughs> I'm not shaking your hand because the rules change in the middle of the game. <laughs> Okay, I just uh, feel like, I mean. It, you know what, that's right. I agreed to it. It did happen. But I'm not gonna shake your hand. It did happen. Yeah. It happened. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Howard, Mr. Lee, for letting us use all your incredible works of art. Uh, please make sure to check out his YouTube channel where he gamifies his amazing talent for your entertainment. Lots of awesome stuff like this and more. And thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name's Dylan, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I have never had a peach before and I'm about to move to a new job in Macon, Georgia. There's Thomas from the Wheel of Mythicality. <laughs> we just saw a first peach moment. And you know, he gave you that Macon nod, like knowing you were born in Macon. I was born in Macon, I've had a peach as well. I could tell that he knew that. Click the top link to watch us guess who horribly drawn celebrities are supposed to be. And get mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Subscribe to the Spork newsletter for all the latest food rankings and reviews of new snacks and drinks so you'll know what to buy.